So hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you are joining live with me now or if you're catching us on the replay. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a StreamYard tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can share your iPad screen so you can have a really engaging um, live stream um, using StreamYard. So I'm going to do the demo specifically for StreamYard. They're another live streaming software provider that I use and I'm going to step you through how to do it. Um, there's a little bit, a, a couple things that you need to do, but it's really easy. And once you know how to do it, you'll be able to share your iPad screen, engage with people and create really amazing live streams. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help you build your business using video on social media with ease. Now, whether you are live now or if you're catching the replay and you have any questions, please drop them in the chat or if you're watching the replay in the comments below and um, I'd love to answer them for you at the end if possible. And as usual, everything that I mentioned, all the timestamps and all of the resources are mentioned um, or are provided in the actual description. So when I talk about um, sharing your iPad screen, being more engaging, it's one of the common questions that people ask me. So when I live stream, um, sometimes I bust out the little iPad and I draw and I use that to engage. And it looks a little something like this. Right, so it looks a little something like this where I can plug in my iPad, I can open up an app um, like this paper app, I can have some beautiful drawings, um, and then you know, I can now, like, as I'm live streaming, draw people's attention to the actual section. I can, you know, draw, I can be really engaging. And one, I don't have to be on camera at the same time because people are actually watching the iPad and what's going on here. Um, one, it removes the need for me to be on camera. And two, it's just a really interesting and nice way of, you know, um, creating content and being engaging. So like with an iPad, you can not only like draw on it, but you can also, you know, use multiple apps. And I've also used my iPad to also demo how to use specific apps. So that's another way of you know creating content, engaging with people and helping people on an actual live stream. So I'm going to show you how you can do what you're seeing right now. Um, see, actually connect up your iPad so that you can then use it during a live stream. So let's go back to me now. I'm going to walk you through how to do this in StreamYard. So let's go over to um, StreamYard. So this is um, me logged into StreamYard Studio. And what you want to do first is you want to open up QuickTime, right? QuickTime Player. So once you've opened up QuickTime, you need to make sure that your iPad or your iPhone is plugged in via the cable, whether that's the lightning cable or the USB-C cable. It's plugged in um, on your iPad and the other side is plugged into your computer. That has to happen, otherwise it can't find it, right? So you may need to like allow the permissions, you may need to like allow it to trust. Um, and once you've done that, Remember, we're still in QuickTime. Um, I want you to, go, you to go up to File and New Movie Recording. And this will open up, um, you'll see it here. This is my iPad screen, right? So how cool is that? So this is exactly the same iPad screen that you saw before. Um, and like that is my iPad screen now opened up using QuickTime, but we're not done yet. So this is it opened up. So I'm just gonna move this to another um, screen for now. So now, once we're in StreamYard and you're on a live stream, what you want to do to actually start sharing the um, iPad screen is you want to go to share. So this share icon at the bottom of StreamYard now, and then we want to sh click on share screen, right? And just continue along, follow that prompt to share the screen. And then we want to click on application window. And then we want to click on, you'll see that new movie recording. You'll see that QuickTime um, app is open and that's your actual iPad screen. So click on that and click share, right? And ta-da, now your iPad screen is live and you can start like, you know, um, using that to engage. I really love this as a way of, um, you know, creating content, engaging with people because it's really engaging. Um, it's really easy and sometimes like, it just adds a bit of personality. I love it. So 
let's have a look at a couple of other things that you can do. So this is just one app and this particular app that I'm using is called Paper and I like it because like it looks like a book. So as you do it, you know, it looks like a cool little book. Now you may also, you may also notice that within um, StreamYard at the moment, it's you know, it looks pretty nice and I can see the iPad screen here, but there's some gaps, right? So you can see like on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, it doesn't fill up the whole screen. So what can we do about that? There's a couple of things that we can do. And if you go to the brand section in StreamYard, you can add an overlay and it will cover it up. So um, I've got one that I'm going to select now. So now, as you can see, um, you know, I've got this beautiful overlay and it kind of hides the fact that it's a screen and it looks looks really nice. So I really like it. The, the um, ability to add a overlay to cover up the, I guess, iPad screen is a nice little hack that I use all the time. Um, I absolutely love being able to like just add some personality. So now it looks like you know, you're watching me on the iPad as I'm on the iPad. So it doesn't actually feel like a screen. So it's as easy as adding an overlay with the transparent, um, the, the iPad transparent section cut out. So that's super easy way of being able to share your actual screen. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's one of the, not only is it one of the, um, underrated things it's kind of one of those hidden little hack things that people don't really know that you can do because it's not um obvious right it's not obvious in Streamyard. but once you figured it out it's so easy it's so easy all you need is quick time um and then to open it up as a new movie recording and then to share the screen and select quick time as the app and once you've done that you can have your beautiful um uh, you know, iPad during your live stream so that you can, you know, draw, you can, you know, do whatever you need to do and engage with people and people can watch that as you're doing it. So the possibilities are absolutely endless and I'm so excited to show this to you. I can't wait to see what you guys end up doing. Um, as usual with StreamYard, once you're ready to stop sharing, you would simply click stop sharing um, and that would remove the, you know, the screen from the, the live stream and you can switch between it. The other thing with um, StreamYard as well is you can also play with the layout. So let's go back to, let's add it one more time before we disappear. So if I go to share the screen again, let's share this screen. Application window, doo -doo. okay. So we've shared the screen here, but now we can play with the layouts a little bit. Um, add myself to the screen and then let's play around with the layouts. So I'm gonna move this. I like the ability to just, you know, um, yeah, so you can have that. Um, I, you know, once again, like you can see the iPad boundaries here, but you can just get an overlay and it will cover it really nicely. And I have one, but I forgot to add it for this live stream because it's Sunday morning. But um, yeah, you get to play around with the layouts. Um, you can have it, like, you know, this picture in picture type of feel where the iPad's on one side and you're on the other. You can have it um, so that it's full iPad if you want to go full iPad, or you can just play around with like the, the layouts of how you want it to look like. Um, and that's, you know, kind of really cool feature of it. So um, yeah, I hope that you found this really, really useful. I'm going to jump back over to the feed now. Um, so that basically wraps up today's live stream. I wanted to make it a really quick tutorial so that you guys could see how easy it was to add another dimension, to do a little bit, um, something to add a little bit of something, you know, to add something different to your live streams that still allows you to communicate your message, that still allows you to teach, that still allows you to be you. Um, and using tools that you've probably already got, right? You probably already have a iPad lying around or a tablet lying around and this would work really well. So that basically wraps up today's live stream. Um, a joy as always to present this to you. Now, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, where I do lots more tutorials on live streaming, social media, and I help you grow your business with video with ease. Um, that is definitely a wrap, my friends. Um, we're going to let the confetti run for a minute. For a minute. Um, if you haven't already got it, make sure that you grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. I show you how to get up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. So I'll put the link to that in the description, as well as on the screen. Um, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next live stream. Bye for now.